Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Hilary Street. We are going to look at English form 2, lesson 2. Our topic will be on grammar and the subtopic will be auxiliary verbs. So expect you as a student, as a learner, by the end of the lesson, you'll be able to define what an auxiliary verb is, differentiate between primary and model auxiliary verbs and be able to give examples of both primary and auxiliary model auxiliary verbs so we begin with definition of auxiliary verbs you can say auxiliary verbs are helping verbs they help the main verb in sentences to show tense mood and aspect for example i'm reading a novel it shows tense, which is the present tense. Uh, Michael is dancing in the house. So we can see the model, the more auxiliary verbs involved in the sentences above are helping the main verb to form the progressive aspect. For instance, dancing is in its progressive aspect. It means the action is ongoing. Reading, it means the action is ongoing. So we begin with primary auxiliary verbs. They customarily act as helping verbs. They include, we have them in the forms of be, which help the main verb to form the progressive aspect. The forms of be consists of am, um, is, are, was, and were. Those are the forms of be, which help the main verb to form the progressive aspect example i'm going for a trip the progressive aspect here we have the word going and so we have our form of be as am as am sorry which is i am am i am so am is our form of be another one she is dressed like a queen is is another form of be uh, they are running they are running slowly the progressive aspect here is running which is assisted by the form of be are it was nice to meet you they were eating angrily we can also say the forms of the verb have helps the main verb to form the perfect aspect forms of have helps the main verb to form the Perfect aspect example of forms of have include the word have, has, and ha, has, and had. Those are the three forms of have. Have, has, and had. Example, they have done their assignment. It helps which main verb? It helps to form the perfect aspect. He has done his assignment. They had done their assignment. Uh, we also have forms of the verb do, which are used to form questions and also indicate emphasis. Forms of do include the word do itself, does, did, and done. Example, did you visit her yesterday? We we'll say the forms of do help to ask questions. Do you know the relation to the airport? Does he emanate here frequently? Have you done your homework? Those are the forms of do that help us to ask questions. And you can also look at other types of auxiliaries, which are the model auxiliary verbs. We can say model auxiliary verbs express different things, such as ability. And we're going to look at those words that help us to express ability. The model auxiliary verbs which express ability include the words could and can. Example, it can dance very well. It can play a piano. They could be going for a walk. She can teach physics. Uh, another uh, form of model auxiliary is used to show permission. The model auxiliary verbs which express permission are may, can, and could. Example, you may go home. You can go home. You could borrow a pen. Those are the used to express permission. We also have those model auxiliary verbs that are used to express request, such as the words may and can. Can I come in? 
used to express request. May I come in? Those are the words used to express request. Another form of modal auxiliary that is used to express willingness include the word can, could, and would. For example, can you drive me to school? Will you drive me to school? Sorry, could you drive me to school? And I would, I would have arrived early if it were not for the inconveniences. It shows willingness. We also have the ones that are used to express wish. May is used to express wish. Example, may you have a blessed day. We also have other type of modal auxiliary verbs, functions which are used to express certainty. Will is used to express certainty. For example, the sun will set in the west tomorrow. The train will leave at 2 p.m. We also have those forms that are used to express obligation. The words used include the words should, ought, and must. You should pray daily. It's an obligation. You ought to respect the clergy. It's an obligation. You must eat. It's an obligation, more of a command. Uh, we also have those modal auxiliary verbs that are used to express probability, pro probability and possibility. Those words include the use of can, could, may, and might. The volcano can erupt without warning. The can use the sentence is used to express possibility. It could rain any time. It is used to express possibility. We also have uh, the bus have failed due to faulty wiring. It expresses probability or possibility. The guest of honor might be the president himself. Uh, the word might expresses probability or possibility. Having observed that, you can attempt the assignment, use the correct form of auxiliary verbs to fill in the blank spaces below. So in the questions, choose the correct form of auxiliary verb and answer the question. Uh, you can also still refer the content on Excelling in English Students Book 2, uh, a second edition published by the Kenya Literature Bureau. You can also reach us on our SMS line as posted, YouTube, Elimu TV, Facebook, Elimu TV, Twitter, at Elimu TV underscore KE. Thank you for the lesson. Till next time.